I'm sure some of you are wondering why am I sit or kneeling behind some uh, plants and one plant is dead. Well, I'm going to let one of our customers, Tobias, uh, explain a little bit about why we have these plants here. All right. Well, can you uh, introduce yourself to the people watching at home there? Okay, yes, my name is Tobias Pausch. I'm working for the company Lemnatech. Uh, we do image-based uh, phenotyping. That means we look at the outward appearance of plants and get information from them uh, just by looking at them with the cameras. So we focus on um, research institutes or research um, companies. And um, with the help of the cameras, we get accurate information uh, of, of plants. Um, it, in many uh, traits like uh, plant height, size, uh, color, uh, also content um, like water or um, chlorophyll content. We use several kind of cameras to uh, get these traits. And I, and I hear you're going to demonstrate a little bit about how you put the plant in your system. Uh, yes, uh, so in, uh, this example shows um, the uh, use of uh, the shortwave um, infrared camera to detect water content inside plants. Mm -hmm. Inside we have an illumination. We place uh, some plants inside. For example, this uh, dried out plant. It looks not very healthy anymore. Okay. Uh, this application we show here on the on the trade show, we use the uh, uh, shortwave infrared camera Goat Eye to detect the water content inside a plant from 1,450 nanometers to 1,500 nanometers. This example shows um, an original image. The light areas in the leaves show the areas of um, dry of drought inside the plant. The darker areas um, are more water, show more water content. We have here a process image. So you see here a classified image by color and the red areas um, show the dry areas. That sounds really interesting. So in the end, how does this benefit uh, customers, your customers? Okay, so first our customers um, have the benefit of automation, um, of an automatic view and also the automatic um, handling of the plants to save time and to get more accurate um, results. Um, at the end of the day, um, the research helps um, to grow plants in areas um, where it's difficult to grow plants. For example, um, areas with high drought stress, high temperatures and so on. So that will help agricultural growing in, in more regions that is impossible at the moment.